top 10 things when getting a home loan that you don't want to do coming at you right now. We found the home of your dreams and we're now in the closing process. Way to go! But listen, we're not there yet. So it's super important that you avoid these 10 things. Number 10, no co-signing loans or credit cards with anyone. I don't care if it's Santa Claus coming to your house asking you to co-sign on a new sleigh. The answer is no. Or at least not until you've closed on that home loan. From the time you start your pre-approval process to the time I hand you your keys, your mortgage company is gonna ask you for several copies of your checking, savings, and money market accounts, as well as any other bank accounts you might have, which makes number nine in our list of top 10 super important. Do not switch banks. It could really mess up your loan. Speaking of those bank statements, let's not make any large deposits without first talking to our mortgage broker. Number seven coordinates with number 10. Do not originate any new credit inquiries or open any new lines of credit. There's a lot that goes on here and it goes with number 10 because it kind of goes along with that idea of not co-signing with anyone. Every time you check your credit, it dings your score just a little bit, but it's enough for the mortgage company to go, hmm. Also, any new lines of credit could mess with your ability to afford your home. So it's best just to avoid doing any of it until after the keys are in your hand. If you find yourself in a situation where your utilities are going to run a credit check, stop right there and call your mortgage broker. That's the biggest thing. The more you can communicate with your mortgage broker, the more you can avoid when it comes to loan headaches. Okay, before I tell you number six, I'm gonna ask that you don't kill the messenger. Please, please still love me after this. But here's the deal. Number six, don't buy furniture. I know, I know. You need a new sofa for that new living room. I totally get it. But let's wait until we have keys. The large purchase or the possible ding to your credit is not worth losing your home over. So let's just wait. Once the keys are in hand, you are free to go buy the furniture. Number five is extremely serious, you guys. Please, for the love of all that is good and houses and HGTV, do not omit any debts or liabilities that you may have on your home loan application. Listen, the mortgage company is gonna be all over your financial background. They're gonna find it and they're gonna cancel that home loan. And it may go worse than that. So, do me a favor. Tell us all of your debts, all of your payments, everything you do. So that way, when the mortgage company goes to approve your home loan, they can do so with full confidence. If your social media feed is anything like mine, I'm sure it's filled with pictures of new puppies, new cars, new boats, and wonderful vacations. Don't let it tempt you. Number four, do not spend any money that you've set aside for a down payment or closing costs. This is important. That money is going to be needed when you get to the end. Number three has more to do with your debt to income ratio, and that is do not use your credit cards excessively or let them fall behind. You don't wanna have any missed payments and you certainly don't wanna have more debt when you get to closing. It might cause the mortgage company to go, nope, and cancel your loan. So don't use your credit cards excessively and do not forget to pay them. We all remember the infamous skit, Chris Farley saying he lives in a van down by the river. And unless you want that to be you, avoid buying a new car, new van, new truck, or you might have to live in it. Number two, avoid any vehicle purchases. Trust me, trust me, it's not worth losing a home over. So go ahead and wait until your keys are in hand to go get that new Ducati. I promise it's worth it. Last, but certainly not least, number one on the list, do not change your job, do not go self-employed, and do not quit your job. Don't mess with your job. Just stay with it until we get keys in hand. Any changes like that will for certain make the mortgage company stop and probably say no to a home loan. I understand, your boss is annoying. Don't quit, just hold on for a little bit longer. Just hold on, we'll make it through. Keys in hand, you can accept that new job offer and move on over to the new company. But until then, I need you to hold tight. And there you have it, the top 10 things to avoid when getting a home loan. I'm Sarah Carmen, your not-so-secret agent, looking forward to helping you with any of your home buying needs. Feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button now or the bell. That way you're kept up to date with what's going on in my YouTube channel. I look forward to hearing from you. All of my information can be found in the comment section. You can also follow me on Facebook as well as Instagram. I look forward to hearing from you. Let's talk soon.